Hi. Hi, Hi. ladies. Larvi, Thomason, and Anne. So nice to chat with you today. Big fan of both of your work. And Anne, happy belated birthday to you, by the way. Thank you very much. Thank you. One of my favorite scenes is when Eileen and Rebecca are in the bar and they're dancing. It just seemed like so much fun because it was an essential part of each of their characters in opening up. Take me back to filming that scene. Did you guys rehearse any of the dancing or was it kind of just improv? I didn't, yeah. but you might have. Um, it was mostly improv, but we did have a wonderful choreographer there, mm -hmm. and he was okay. kind of showing us some of the moves that would have been uh, just kind of done mm -hmm. at that time, were popular at the time. And then, um, but actually it was really, really sweet because the story became about what we realized in the scene is that Eileen's never had anybody teach her how to dance. Yeah. And so the scene kind of becomes about Rebecca realizing that it's all worthless. Mm -hmm. And so I step in and I hold her and I kind of teach you how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really lovely. And I think and I think that that was kind of mirroring what was happening in, yeah. in real life as well, at least for yes, that scene. Definitely. I mean like for some reason I end up dancing for a lot of films or a lot <laughs> of like the shows that I do and that I'm not now I'm not so bad because I've had to I've had to do it so much. But in the past, I've been a really like allergic to dancing. I'm just like very shy and embarrassed about it. So it was nice for me that real life reflected what was <laughs> happening between Eileen and Rebecca because I could just let um, Anne take the lead. And you're such a great dancer. So like that's very <laughs> kind and. and <laughs> Too much praise, but thank you. And they could like play into my awkwardness and embarrassment. So that's fun. And I, yes, you do are always dancing in all of your yeah. projects, Thomas. And yes, there's a big kind of turning point in this film. What are some of those films where you've watched and, you're, and it kind of surprised or shocked you? Do you have any of those films in particular? For me, it would be Arrival, The Prestige, and even oh, Interstellar, yeah. when there was like that big reveal that Cooper is the ghost for Murphy. Do you guys have those like films that have kind of surprised you? I get surprised by like a Disney movie. I'm very, very guileless. I'm very easy to fool. My, my husband is very clever and he can figure it out within the first five minutes what's going on. So literally there is no film that has never not surprised me. If there is even the hint of a twist, um, I'm like, what? So. <laughs> I always I love that. think I can see it coming, but I'm I, I never do. I'm always like, oh no, I, I've 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 un unlocked this one, and then it turns out to be like completely wrong. Um, I can't think of any films at the moment, <laughs> um, but I like I did a film a couple of years ago called Last Night in Soho, and there was a similar twist at the end, um, and I remember reading that and being taken by surprise. It's very satisfying. That was yeah, no, that twist shocked me, and yeah. I loved that twist. I was all for that twist. Mm -hmm. Well, they are going to wrap me soon, and I have to say, Anne, when I first started interviewing about nine years ago, I was on the Washington, D.C. red carpet for Interstellar, and I briefly spoke with you and Jessica Chastain and Christopher Nolan, and you complimented my outfit, and I was, like, just there to talk to you and complimented you, and I always remember that. It just, like, made me feel so good. So thank you so much for just making people happy with with your films and your work, and it was just an honor to chat with the both of you today. That's so kind. I actually <laughs> remember that. Yeah, it, I was before I was doing things on camera. It was just very briefly. I think I just had like my sound re like recorder there. But um, obviously, Interstellar is iconic. The Devil mm. Wears Prada, my two favorite comfort movies, honestly. So I'm, that makes me so happy. Thank you very, very much. I'm thrilled. And now, yes. of course, Eileen. <laughs> oh, of course, Eileen. I don't know if going to be I'm anybody's so comfort movie. But hey, uh, but hopefully hey, we'll be. I'm, it is romance and horror. Yeah, well, I mean, as 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 um, will keep our director keeps saying it's a Christmas love story. Yeah, exactly, it's a Christmas <laughs> film. It's a Christmas it's a film. Christmas yeah. film. <laughs> well, I'm so excited for the idea of you too. I loved that book, so I'm excited Thank to see you, you and Nicholas. In Thank that. you. Every, the whole romance community is like so excited for that one. Oh, good. But they. Oh yeah. Good. I hope it lives up. Oh, I'm sure it will. Thank you, ladies, so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to see you again.